Hey man, you gonna help me look? Do what? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be looking. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm looking. I'm looking. What, what am I looking for? I'm looking for that South Carolina defense. What? Yeah. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. How about you? Oh, why didn't well, you got going. to tell me that, man? Because I'm, I need some. I need a little. I need a little more hope. Yeah. So now I can look for it. <laughs> Ooh. I still don't see it. I still don't see it. <laughs>
Certainly not going to do it on the ground. Georgia has yet to allow a rushing touchdown this year. Think about that. That's no quarterback sneaks, nobody breaking for big gains, big yards, and running for a touchdown. Just hasn't happened. Not to say it can't happen, but it hasn't happened so far. And the South Carolina offensive line doesn't look like one that's really going to be able to get it done. Kirby Smart's doing a great job at University of Georgia. Um, he's getting these guys prepared. Um, we've got a lot of guys coming back. Jordan Davis is going to be back. Um, obviously, Eric Stokes is going to be looking to make a big impact. Uh, you know, it, it's going to be – this is going to be a tough game for South Carolina. I don't really see a whole lot of reason for South Carolina to hold their head up real high, and I'm not saying they won't. I'm just saying they don't really seem to have a big reason to. You've got a – Coach who is consistently getting out coached by top 25 teams, never mind a top five team. Um, you have a coach who is running with a true freshman quarterback, and you're running with an offensive line that's really not that good at keeping the defense out of the backfield. So it's going to be interesting. Now, as far as Georgia goes, I think what Georgia's going to do is it's going to continue to develop its, in my opinion, developing its identity through the air. Georgia has really kind of started to move the needle in that direction to have more of a passing game. And the offense and defense look much more balanced now. Obviously, Jake Fromm had a great week last week. We want to see that performance continue. And in order to do that, Jake Fromm has to be able to throw the ball the way he wants to throw the ball. When they turn him loose and they let him call the play calls, they let him call the play style, it looks like a completely different ball club. And hopefully, Coley is watching and learning from that. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you've made it this far, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but most of all, don't forget to share. Trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the season. We just recently hit 1,800, and I really appreciate you guys' help. You guys are awesome. Um, I've got, we've got viewers from all different football teams, so if this is your first time watching my channel, please subscribe. I'll get to your team eventually. Don't, don't hesitate to jump down in the comment section and say you want me to make a video about whatever. Uh, whatever team you have, whether it's the um, OSU Beavers or whatever your team is. Um, there was a guy the other day who we had a conversation about North Carolina Tar Heels. North Carolina Tar Heels is not a powerhouse team. Um, I've got guys in here that are Terrapin fans. We got all kind of people in here. So if you guys, you want me to, uh, you want me to talk about your team, all you got to do is send a comment. Let me know, subscribe to the channel, and we'll get you guys rolling. Pretty soon, we're going to be unrolling the Patreon page, get you guys to sign up over there. If you guys want to, we're going to do some extra content and have some stuff behind that wall over there for you guys that, that want to contribute to that. Also, we're going to be adding to uh, adding to the channel. We're going to be adding some T-shirts and some some fun stuff for you guys, some coffee cups and whatnot. You guys know I like my coffee in the morning, so uh, maybe you guys can have a cup with me. Now, what do I think the score is going to be? I can't remember how many points favorite Georgia is, but I'm not betting on that game. I'm not betting on it. I don't bet on any sports game. But if I was a betting man, I'd pick Georgia and whatever points they want to give. <laughs> um, I don't think their defense is going to be good enough to stop Jake Fromm or any of the running backs. Uh, I certainly don't think their offensive line is strong enough to stop the defense, uh, Georgia's defense from – uh, if everybody else has had uh, Helensky runner for his life, um, he he's going to have a lot of trouble. Um, I just think Helsinki is going to be hurt. <laughs> now, for those of you who were upset about the Tennessee video I made about the one cracked egg, the one cracked egg was not a shot at uh, at Mark. It was not. It was actually in reference to a video that Uncle Lou made about how he hates one cracked egg in a uh, in a dozen. I just happened to have had one cracked egg whenever I made breakfast that morning, so I put that into the video. Some people took it to mean that we intentionally tried to hurt the quarterback. That's not the case. If you've watched this channel for any length of period of time, you know I don't want to see any player get hurt, uh, and I certainly don't want to see anybody uh have their football career ended in, in college. I don't I don't want to see that at all. No. A lot of these guys could play 
you know, they went to where they could get a scholarship from. Um, and I don't, I don't hold it against them. If they were looking to go to Georgia and ended up, ended up going somewhere else or, or was, or anything like that. I just think that those guys, if they play, I want to see them play their best game. Obviously I want to see Georgia win, but I don't want to see somebody get hurt. So don't jump in the comment section and, and all this other stuff. And then some guy, I don't know who it was in the last video was talking about, uh, with, Using all kind of vulgar language, talking about how I was classless and Georgia fans are classless. Listen, I'm I'm going to see and want to see the same thing with Georgia this game that I saw in the Tennessee game, which is play all four quarters. As long as their offense is on the on the field trying to score, your defense should be there trying to stop them every way they can. If their defense is out there trying to make you turn the ball over or stop you from scoring, you should be doing everything you can to go down the field. That's SEC football. If your quarterback gets lit up, hey, that's on your coaching staff and that's on your defense. That's on your offensive line. It is not on the defense for doing their job. So you guys can take all them emotions you got all about that and, and put it in a little box and throw it in the ocean because I got no use for it. That's not how football's played. If you want Georgia to go out there and play a lackluster performance, sorry, that's not going to happen. If your team is getting blown out by Georgia, do not or Alabama or Clemson or Ohio or Wisconsin or anybody else that's in contention for a national um, playoff appearance, don't expect them to take their foot off the throttle. Every game is a resume. Every game is an application about why they should be in the college football playoffs. Because keep in mind, you can lose your division. You can come in second place in your division and still go to a college football playoff. It's already been done. So every team is going to go out there and play their tails off because you're not going to get to the end of a game. Take your foot off the throttle. If you're not 40 plus points on the board, they're not going to take their foot off the throttle because what's going to happen is you're going to hear people look back and say, well, Georgia played Tennessee and well, you know, they, they only put up 36 points. Instead of Georgia going ahead and getting that other touchdown. That's not how you get the reputation that you deserve by taking your foot off the throttle. Does that mean some people are going to get sacked late in the game? Yep. Does that mean some points are going to get tacked on the board late in the game? Yep. We want to see good football. College football playoff committee wants to see who the best team is. And the only way you can do that is to play all four quarters. If it hurts your feelings, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Now. In the meantime, don't forget tomorrow's a noon game at Georgia, and it's going to be blistering. Still got to give you guys my prediction. My prediction for the Georgia game, the Georgia-South Carolina game? Hmm. <laughs> Georgia. 45. South Carolina. 17. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day. And as always, God bless. Go dogs.